times. Let's put it on. Put what on? The last suit you'll ever wear. Sorry about that, couldn't resist. It seems really odd when you look at your clothes wearing out that they really will be pretty much all we're wearing for the next six months. Um, I should probably <laughs> start with a disclaimer that neither Brian nor I work for or sponsored by or in any way affiliated with Crackhopper. The fact that almost all our worn clothes are Crackhoppers is just coincidence based on the fact that we bought all this stuff. They were the first proper sort of gear company um, we tried out and we bought all this stuff two and a half years ago and it is in perfect nick. It has lasted over a thousand miles of various hikes. We have no complaint about everything, so crack hopper is still is. So here's what we're wearing. We both have a crack hopper, sun hat, one each. Obviously slightly different sizes. It's a broad rimmed hat, so it, it doesn't cover your neck, but it covers pretty much everything else. Because it doesn't cover your neck, we both have a buff each. I tend to use that for everything, protection against the cold, protection against the heat, you name it, the buff is on. Um, our hiking shirts are Crack Hopper Nosy Life. They come pre-impregnated uh, with mosquito repellent and sun protection, uh, which hopefully hasn't washed out by yet. Lions is a crack hopper as well, same thing. Got a nice bit of a mesh in the back there. He had a bit of a funny thing happening when he first wore his. Don't know whether that shows up. That it all kind of came up, yeah, there. In sort of knobs a bit. And we were like, oh god, this is not gonna last. But nothing further has ever happened to this shirt. This happened literally after the first wash, and then, you know, two and a half years later, nothing else has happened. So it's just one of them things. Um, I wear non brand sports bra and non brand underpants. They're comfy, they work. Brian's are also non brand underpants. Again, reasonably comfy. Seem to work. We both have the. Uh, what's it stand for? Well, these sun gloves, active ice. They're the latest addition to our gear, actually, because it's obviously not something you ever need <laughs> when hiking in the UK. Well, we've got a pair each. Hopefully they'll do us good in, this, in the sun. Our pants are, again, crack hopper, nosy life cargo pants. So they zip off into shorts if we want to. Never felt the need to, because to be fair, they are... They're light. They're... they're not tight on you, so they let a lot of air in. I've never felt hot in those. I've never hiked in the desert either, but you know, there you go. Um, yeah, never had felt the urge to, to take the the lower legs off, but the option is there, especially for river crossings and stuff like that. They dry really, really fast as well. I mean, I'm just really happy with those pumps. For our socks, for me, I wear the Injinji inliners because I have dodgy feet and I used to get a lot of blisters between the toes and these have fixed them. And the main socks, again, crack hopper. They're walkers. These are really, really nicely cushioned socks. I've, yeah, I don't know what to say. They, they just work perfectly. And again, you know, after like 600, 800 miles worth of hiking, they look like new. So we are Hopeful that they'll last us. Brian Simmel, except that he doesn't need funny, funny toed socks, so he has the Bridgedale sock liners. They're very nice and cool. Um, cool Max material, so supposedly don't smell so much. They don't actually, to be fair. And sometimes he just hikes in them if it gets too hot because his feet get quite hot. But other than that, he also has the crack hopper walkers. Um, the other thing that's missing, obviously, is a belt. I'm not sure, I think they came... I uh, don't know whether they came with the pants or... We seem to have the same belt each, so it makes me think they must have come with the belt, with the, uh, with the pants. And I've included this in my worn gear. My funny pack, because I never without that. This is where I keep passports, credit cards, money, survival stuff like, you know, the space blanket. Um, Tick removers, 
a compass somewhere in here. Yeah, one handed action is so easy. There. <laughs> and just a few odds and ends, like a, a bag of ibuprofen I've got in here somewhere. Yeah, wherever. Take my word for it, there's a bag of ibuprofen in here. There. <laughs> And I will probably keep, uh, I will be putting the, the, the lighter in there as well, once we've cleared customs and the airspace. So that, that basically, if I get separated from the pack, uh, or get swept down the river, I have in there hopefully enough things to survive. And I have all the money and Brian will be up the trail with nothing. <laughs> and that's all one gear. The eagle eyed amongst you will have spotted that there's no shoes involved. And that is because we are going to do the very thing that everybody says not to do and that we ourselves say not to do and that is we're actually buying our boots when we get to America and um, we'll explain more about that in another video. Two flat hikers.